Mr. Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want to, me to put me posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, this is Tom the Collector here with another action figure review. And here I have the DC Multiverse Batman Earth 44 figure here. Um, this one I think looks awesome and slick. Or sleek, I guess you could say. I don't know what the wording would be for that. But uh, like I said in the last video with Doomsday, Batman, or whatever. Um... I don't usually do reviews on DC Multiverse figures. I do have some right now. Like I have the Joker and uh, Batman Arkham Knight one. I have Spawn, uh, which I did do a review on. And also Doom, which I also did a review on. Um, but I'm probably going to end up starting to do DC Multiverse reviews now. But here, uh, here's the front of the packaging here. Sorry, set it over that. And then here's the side, Batman Earth 44, ba Dark Knight's Metal. Uh, here's the back with that card art there that you'll be getting in uh, from the inside. And then here's the other figures through the collection. Um, then here's the other side, not much. Here's the top, not much going on there. And then here's the mom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack this guy open. All right, and here he is at the packaging. So first, let's go over his uh, little accessories that he's got here, or items. So here is his card. So like I said in the other video with the Doomsday one, they're not doing like the heavy duty, like I guess throwing card material, I guess. Um, I don't know why, but because right when I took this out, it kind of folds over. So I guess it kind of loses its value. I One more just thing about the value too. Um, I somehow managed to get these for 15 bucks on rollback, rollback, uh, at Walmart. So I was actually really happy that I got these figures for that much. Um, when they usually cost like 20 bucks or 25 sometimes. And these guys are, I think I heard are going to be hard to find. Um, so here's the art there. And then you get the what type of Batman he is, Earth 44. And then here's the back with like uh, some little descriptions and first appearance, real name, all that stuff here. So there's that for you. And then he comes with these display um, holders for him or to make him stand up, I guess, more securely. Uh, so it has the DC logo furnished uh, with that little peg there. And you just peg it in to one of his feet there but i'm not going to because i'm going to review the figure anyways and it comes at all dc or mcfarlane figures oops i moved my camera um they all come with like those little um what do you want to call them i don't know what the wording the name of those these things are again i call them discs uh, and then another thing is like an extra hand with all these like nano or squealy things from you got like all five fingers there one two three four five and i'll show you how to plug them in to one of his hands here in a bit but first let's go over the looks here so this one i think is gonna be i think this is my favorite batman figure out of the tom mcfarlane toy line dc figures at the moment i haven't seen much of the flash ones i haven't seen any flash figures actually from there i think it, because flash is my favorite dc character actually but I like this one a lot. So there's that. You get, like, he doesn't have, his entire face is covered up. So I like the little sculpts there. I like the coloring that they did for the eyes, orange. The shoulder pads are really cool. They're soft plastic, so you won't have a problem with, like, accidentally breaking it or something. The only problem that I see doing, you guys worrying about is probably tearing it. But you get this nice little texture there, the circles, and then the orange paint around it. Same si same thing on the other side. You get the bat orange, uh, orange bat, sorry. And you get this like little blue lining going out throughout the figure. More cool sculpts. I like the back here. 
Like I like this a lot. This looks really cool. You get the tricep sculpts there. Um, you get the vertebrae. You get more blue lines around there. And then the butt. Um, the eyes look good. Calves, you get like these little blue lights here or blue circles. Um, and then uh, here's the hands. These look pretty cool. The arms look really cool too. It kind of reminds me, reminds me of just a little bit like Iron Man, just a little bit. I'm not sure. I kind of it does give me Iron Man vibes with this, especially with nanotechnology too. Um, but I like it a lot. It's really cool. Um, I guess. Oh yeah, see, like he has like a little bit of Iron Man going on there. The little um, shoot. I'm trying to figure out the name now. Beams or blasters from his hands. I wonder if the other hand, the, yeah, it does. You can kind of see it there. The lighting, I don't have the best lighting at the moment. Sorry, I'm planning on getting like a little ring light at some point for this type of reviews. Um, but yeah, I like this. And I'll show you how to put these, this on real quick. So all you want to do is pop that off. You get that little uh, peg there has that little hole there uh, and then just plug that bad boy in just like that and then bam looks pretty cool um i guess one thing that i will say about it it's really shiny but i guess i don't i, I don't have that much of a problem with it especially since it's like tentacles so i don't know how i feel about it but whereas this part is kind of more matte but I guess that's supposed to be for padding and just like all the electrical or things are inside the suit or robot, I guess. I'm not sure if this guy's actually a robot. I'm sorry. I don't know much more. I don't know much about DC, whereas I do with Marvel. So I'm more, in the, I'm more of a Marvel fan, but I like the looks of and the ideas from DC. But let's go over the articulation for this guy here. So his head can move down that much. He can move up, not so much. Uh, you get left and right movement. You get some head pivoting, just a little bit, not a whole lot. Uh, his shoulders can move out way past 90 degrees, which is really good. You get 360 rotation, well, somewhat. You kind of got to maneuver around this so you don't, like, pop it off or something. He has a bicep swivel. Whoops. Yeah, there you go. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows on uh, his wrists can hinge all over the place so he's got it takes a little bit of maneuvering so you get whoops that's not what i want to do oh there we go so you get him to go hinge down that far up that far and if you just twist it wrists a little bit you get it side to side too so if you just want to side to side you can do that so you get like all ranges of movement through his wrists. He has a ball joint for the top here. So you don't get you don't get any movement forward, but you get side to side there and a little like a little bit back. Nothing forward for this. But he does have another ball joint at the hip here. But still not a whole lot. But a little bit more side to side with all of them going there. You can see a little bit of padding coming off there. I don't know if I'll have him going that far forward to the side, that much to the side, sorry. And you, but you do get a lot of backwards movement through that. All two, oh, sorry, both ball joints there. Um, then you get his legs to kick out that far forward a lot. That's really good. Um, backwards a lot, way better than most figures actually. Uh, no thigh cut. I, I would assume that they should be doing thigh cuts, but oh well. Uh, he does have double jointed knees, so that's good. Uh, his ankles cannot hinge down a whole lot. Unless, yeah, it doesn't move down that much because this kind of gets in the way. But it does hinge up just a bit. And then you get a nice ankle pivot. And then you get these toe joints here so you get weight back like that but i'm not sure if i'll ever anyone will ever do that and then 
goes back to normal. So in my honest opinion, I think this guy looks really cool. The only problem that I have with it is probably just the ab crunch. Is, whoopsies, that's not what I wanted to happen. Um, but uh, I like the little uh, effect that they got going on for his other hand. I like the fact that they're adding stuff to it. I just really wish they would go back to more of the higher value cards because then these could be worth something someday instead of like being bended like that and then it loses their worth, I guess. Um, but besides that, I like the texturing. I like the paint apps. They do really good. They're really crisp. Uh, I still don't know how I feel about the different mat. Like this is matte. This one's shiny. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm not, I guess I'm not really picky when it comes to that, but I guess they want to give it a, like a more shiny feel going on through it because it would be more nanotech, I guess, whereas this would be like actual armor, but I'm not sure. But besides that, they do really good on this figure. I like it a lot. One of my favorite Batman figures actually. Um, but besides that, that's all I've got. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is BadBuke767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal. It's supposed to help me out with getting Get me being able to do that and I also get more games uh, to reactions to. I want to get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it and then also the games for it. Um, more camera, better camera equipment uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, I, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports, videos, other stuff like that. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.